Hi everybody and welcome along to a 20 minute progressive hit session. Today we're concentrating on our lower bodies and our cores. And we've got five exercises that we're going to repeat four times, but they're going to get progressively more difficult each time we do it. So, you don't need any equipment, just yourselves. Grab a drink because you probably will want it. And we're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. Our first exercise is going to be a squat. So simple squat. Knees and ankles about hip width apart, a little bit wider. And as you squat down, bring your knees over your toes, keep your back flat and your chest up. And we're gonna go in five seconds. Here we go. That's it. Well done, keep that nice steady rhythm going. Make sure your knees are over your toes, that they're not caving in, and that your back is flat. You're bringing your bottom down low. Well done, 10 seconds left. Last few seconds. Brilliant, well done. Now we've got a crunch, so come down onto the floor. Bring your hands onto your thighs. Leave a gap between your chin and your chest. Keep looking straight up at the ceiling. And as we exhale, we're gonna slide our hands up towards our knees and then come back down again. That's it. Slow and controlled. Make sure you're not tucking your chin down to your chest, that you're leaving that gap and looking straight up. That's it, just over 10 seconds left. Well done. Brilliant, well then, back up onto our feet now. We've got a reverse lunge and we're going to alternate each leg each time. So we're going to step back, bring that knee down to the floor if you can. Knee of the front foot leg is over the toes of that front leg. Back it up and alternate. Here we go. That's it. Well done. 10 seconds down, 30 to go. Keep it going, nice steady rhythm. So this first round is our easiest round. They're gonna get progressively more difficult, but if any of the progressions are too tricky, stick with the previous one. Excellent, come down to the floor. Another abs move now, we've got toe touch. So we're gonna lift our shoulders and head up off the floor, swivel around and tap the heel of the foot with the same hand. Keeping that lift of your shoulders and your head. And every time it starts to feel a bit easy, lift a little higher. And also the closer your heels are to each other, the more you have to swivel around, so the harder it is. And the further your heels are away from your bum, the harder it is. You should really feel your obliques working hard to get you to swivel. Last few seconds. Woo! Awesome, well then. Next one, kneel to standing. Just gonna have a drink. So we're gonna stand in the middle of our mat, kneel down, stand up again. Easy as that. Here we go. And you can alternate which leg you lead with each time. 
So this is the last exercise of our first round. So now it's going to start to get harder. But like I said, if any of these have felt that they're at your limit, don't push to the next progression. Stick with this one. And then next time you come back and do this workout, see if you can push it a little bit further. Brilliant, so now we've got a squat and a pulse. So we're gonna squat down, pulse, and up. Gonna go in five seconds. Squat, palms up. That's it. And again, make sure your back is flat, chest is up, knees are over your toes, weight is in your heels, and your bum is coming down towards the floor, but you're not bending forwards. You want your bum to drop down as if you're about to sit down on a low stool. So last few seconds. Woo. Brilliant. Now come down onto the floor. We've got a sit up. So knees bent, hands next to your head. And you're going to crunch up. And as you do, think about pushing your chest up and out so your back goes flat. And then come back down and repeat. Well done. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. That's it, that's halfway. If these are, are too tricky because your feet keep lifting up, you can either hook them under something, or if you've got someone with you, they can hold your feet. So then, they're not flying up into the air. Well done. Right, now we've got our reverse lunges. We're going to reverse lunge, knee to elbow, and swap sides. So opposite knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. Reverse lunge, knee to elbow, and swap. Keep it going. Well done. Two exercises left of round two. Last few seconds. Bicycle crunch. So opposite knee to opposite elbow and extend that other leg out. If that's too tricky, bring the other leg to the floor. And you don't want to bring your knee in to your elbow like this because you're not actually using your abs at all. You want your knee to be at about 90 degrees. Really crunch up to bring your elbow to your knee. Well then, keep your rhythm going and make sure you're using your breath to help you. Don't hold your breath. Last few seconds. Well then, now we've got Neil to standing with a little jump at the end. So we're gonna come down, stand up, and jump, and repeat. Here we go in five seconds. Neil, jump up. Woo. 
완성! getting that little explosive move into this exercise because for the progression we're going to need it last few seconds excellent well then right so that was round two done On to round three. Jumping squats. So we're gonna squat down, try and touch the floor if we can, and jump up. Here we go. Our thighs are gonna burn after this. That's it. Once again, back is flat. Your bum's dropping low. You're not falling forward. You're squatting down low. Whew. Get your glutes and your quads working for it. Whew. 10 seconds left. My legs are burning. Whew. Well then, give your legs a little bit of a shake. We've got a full body crunch now. Coming down to the floor. We're going to stretch out, crunch in and up, bring your knees into your chest, tap the floor past your bum, and extend out again. And as you extend, try and keep your feet and your head and your shoulders off the floor. Once again, exhale as you crunch in. Well done, 15 seconds left.
Well done. That's it, nearly halfway. Fifteen seconds. Well done, last two. One more rep. Excellent job, well done. Right. Final round now. So this is gonna be the most demanding. We have got a 90 degree jump squat. Squat down. Jump 90 degrees, squat down, repeat until you're back at the front again, and then go back the other way. Well done, nearly halfway. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. sit up now. So come down onto the floor, bring the bottoms of your feet together. We're going to lie down and sit up. Like once again pushing your chest up and out and come back again. Whew. So one, three more exercises left after this and that is us done. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Amazing, well done. Right, three exercises left. We've got jumping lunges now. Everybody's favourite! Woohoo! That was sarcasm, just in case you weren't aware. So come into a reverse lunge, jump up, and swap sides. If any of these progressions are too tricky, stick with the previous one. And just gradually build up to it. That's halfway, come on. We're on the home straight now. So close. Woo! 
Nearly halfway, come on, keep it going. seconds left. Last 10. Come on, last breath. Woo! Fabulous work. Well then, make sure you have a cool down now. A stretch and drink plenty of water, rehydrate so you're not aching tomorrow. Whew. Feel free to check out my cool down video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're notified when all the latest workouts are ready and available. And like and share and comment on it. Let me know how you got on. I love getting feedback from you. And most importantly, have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.